Hey everybody, welcome in. It's me, Dana, aka Triple C. Welcome in to Craft Hour with Triple C. Come on in, guys. It's another day of Craft Hour. It is Tuesday morning. Come on in, hit the thumbs up if you can. Share me out, guys. I'm excited. It is a beautiful day. I'm gonna go ahead and greet everybody in a second, but I want to open up in prayer. I hope you guys are feeling good today. I'm feeling great, and I'm excited. I can't wait to do our craft for today because every day, you know, I like to do a different craft or we chat, whatever we do. I love to have a good time. Um, so I'm excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my um, all of the things I'm gonna be using today, and we're gonna get a good have a good time. Um, for me, um, I kind of just had I worked on my sweater a bit yesterday. Many of you got to come into my late night stream last night. Where I was working on my sweater, working on a granny square, and working on my knit scarf at the same time, guys. I was working on three things at once. Uh, it was definitely fun because I kind of like bounced around from all three things at once, and end up finishing the granny square, putting maybe an inch or two on my scarf, which I'm doing garter stitch. And I ended up working on almost getting the back of my um, my back panel done for my sweater. So that's really awesome. So everybody come on in, hit the thumbs up. Uh, I'm going to open up a prayer in a short second, but I just want to have everybody come on in, share me out, all those good things. While you come in the building, um, come on in, and then we'll begin to get our prayer on. Hope you guys are feeling good. How's everybody doing? Do you all have your coffees? Do you all have your um, your craft with you? I sure hope you guys have your coffee and your craft this morning. As for me, yes, I have my coffee and I have my crafts. And I do have a different background today. I forgot to change that background. But no worries, guys. No worries about that. This is my new background for today. <laughs> so I hope you guys like my background. Um, <laughs> this is my new background. I see Granny D. <laughs> I love Granny D. She says she loves my new home. <laughs> hey, guys. Girl, we love you. Hello, Brenda. Welcome in. Granny D says she likes it. <laughs> Shout out to Granny D in the building, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get our prayer on because I want to start our crafting. All right? So let's go ahead and get our prayer on. Help you share me out. Thank you, honey. And I'm going to get ready to pray. So, Father, in my name of Jesus, I just come to you thanking you for this day, God. Give me all the glory and all the honor that you are so amazing. And I thank you for waking us up. God, thank you for breathing life into us, God, on today. God, I'm asking that as this day um, continues, God, I ask that you just touch us, cover us. Keep us lifted up, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, cover us with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Father God, move us, guide us, direct our paths, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, guard our hearts, guard our minds, Father God, and ask that you just... Um, Make our words few and season with grace, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just thank you for this day. Now, we're just asking you, um, each of us who are dealing with any aches, pains, or um, soreness, Father God, I'm asking for some healing on today, Father God. I'm asking for some rest, and some rejuvenation, Father God, some peace, Father God, some peace of mind, God. I'm asking you right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, just to restore us, God. Some of us need some restoration. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, cover us, God. Move us, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm just thanking you, God, for this platform. I do not take it lightly, God. I thank you for everyone that's here. Everyone's able to watch the replay, God. You are so awesome for bringing everyone here where we can talk crap and have a great time, Father God. You are so worthy. And I'm thanking you for this day. And I'm asking you just to find up any type of cyberbullying, any trolling, or any um, spamming, God. And I'm asking you to just, just run smoothly and let everyone have a good time. So in your son, Jesus, now I pray this prayer. Amen. Amen, guys. So I have to get a swig of my coffee. Mm -hmm. That coffee, it's, it's nothing like having that first cup of coffee. Do you guys have your coffee? I'm going to go ahead and greet everybody that's in the building. And then I'm going to go ahead and start a craft. Or chat a little bit and then start a craft. The coffee is good. All right, guys. So let's go ahead. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and see JC in the building. Welcome in, JC. He's at school now, though. Guys, girl says, Guys, girl, Ray. Yay, guys, girl, Ray. Thank you for the Ray. Granny D is in the building. She says, Guys, girl, Ray. Thank y'all so much for coming in for the Ray. You guys are our best. Granny D says, Hello, everyone. All right, come on in, y'all. How you doing, Brenda D? You guys, if you don't have Granny D, Nick Pearl on Squirrel with Granny D Thompson, grab her up. If you don't have God's Girl Creations, please grab her up. You're going to love her channel. We got good family here. So I hope you guys are in the building and enjoying yourselves. 
And Joe Sports, I gave my husband. He says, Amen. As my husband, guys, if you don't have him, please grab him up. Dina's in the building. Dina's yo yo. Say, like, Hey, Dina. Good morning. Keisha's in the building. What? Hey, Keisha. Good morning. And Granny V loves the background and Brenda does too. So, how are you guys doing? What are you all up to this morning? Okay, so it's Carl's in the building. Welcome in. How you doing? And Dina says, how's everybody doing today? All right, so how's everybody doing, guys? What are you guys working on? I know it is early. Some of you may not be working on anything yet. All right, let's see. The Handmaiden's Adornments. Okay. Hello, good morning, everyone. I'm new to the channel. You are a beautiful family. You have a beautiful family. Thank you so much, the Handmaiden Adornments. My name is Dana. Um, my nickname is Triple C because my business is called creatively create a crochet and so um i just want to welcome you in and thank you for being here thank you for coming in and hitting that thumbs up i hope you are will come back again and enjoy the stream today uh monday through friday i like to do monday through friday i like to do a craft hour and enjoy my you know enjoy ourselves or we can craft together and laugh and you know i have all those good things excuse me guys um, we just have a good time. So come on in and craft with us, all right? We like to do different crafts, so each day we do something different. Donna is in the building. Welcome in, Donna. How are you? Okay, Carla says she got work, but she have a crochet project. All right. And Miss Tina's in the building. Welcome in, Miss Tina. How are you doing? Good morning to you. So what is everybody up to? I know some people have projects, but says Carla, what kind of project? You crochet a project. Uh, I'll show you the project I'm going to be working on um, a little bit, or I've started, and I'm trying to get it done. <laughs> if you guys need the link, drop type the letter CC, and one of our amazing moderators will drop it for you guys. Thank you so much. My beautiful new Gigi is dropping links, aka Guys Girl. So this is my back panel, guys, for my sweater. It's going to be my daughter's size, guys, so I'm doing this other side, and then this is going to be the side here. So I'm gonna have to do two sides, a front and a back. How you doing, Donna? What happened, with Donna? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm missing. I'm missing comments. I'm sorry. It just started moving fast, and I missed a lot of comments. Donna says, "Good morning, friends. Please continue to pray for me. I'm sick. COVID symptoms. Just had my test yesterday. What? Okay, I have no idea." Not find my ink again. Oh, here it goes. I found it, guys. Um, writing it down now, Donna. And everybody, we got a lot of prayer words in the building. We'll be praying for Donna as well. Good morning, Wendy. Welcome in. How you doing today? Thank you so much for being here. You're very welcome, Donna. You about to lay down for a few? Yes, lay down and get some rest. Thank you for coming in, Keith. Thank you for hitting that thumbs up. We got 11 in the building. Thank y'all for being here. Wait, welcome in for the craft hour, guys. I appreciate you guys for being here. You guys are the best family ever. Sis Carla says she's working on Mary Jane Shaw. Ooh, by Kristen Om Omdahl. I love Kristen's, Kristen's items. Uh, she does beautiful work. Has anybody else did Kristen Amdahl's um, anything that she does, any of her shawls? She makes really intricate shawls. Wendy said you missed you over. Oh my goodness, yes. I don't know. Wendy, I definitely took a break over Christmas time. <laughs> oh my goodness, I took a break. Hello, Teacher Griswold. The Griswold family vacates in the building. Welcome in, Teacher Griswold. If y'all don't have them, please grab them up. Awesome channel. And everybody's praying for Donna. Did you do your giveaway? Oh no, Miss Tina. La la la. Miss Tina, I have to do my giveaway. I gotta do my um winner. I forgot to do my winner. Uh, I'll probably just do that today then so I can get it done. I forgot to do my giveaway because I gotta do my new one. Yes, I'm behind. I've be, we've been doing two channels, so I got I gotta get my videos out. I'm behind on a few videos. I got like three videos. I got a shopping video I gotta get done. 
Um, I have to do the front look Friday that's not done yet. And then I got to release my video, my, my winner. So I, I will try to get those done today. And let's see. Okay, what's the plan for content? Okay. Oh, look at Keisha. I like that, Keisha. Checking with the man who has a plan to get your to know what you're gonna be doing. You say your top you have on shawl or is it one of the, uh, one of the pattern? It is Bag of Days pattern one hundred three four eight four eighty three. It is like uh, what is it called? The lace mint like a mint lace poncho, lace mint poncho. So hey, maiden, what kind of things do you do at your channel? You work if you want to tell us what you do at your channel. You're more than welcome to. That's I would love to subscribe to your channel as well. If you subscribe to me, I definitely will subscribe to you. Um, let me see. All right. So I just read everybody's comments, guys. I'm going to start getting ready to get something done for today, guys. Let me see what I can do. Let me get some stuff moved out of the way. You know what? I might have to just not do it. Um, I might do it on this side, guys, because this is I can't do it on this side. I might just do it sitting up regular while we sit in chat. I might just do it while we sit in chat, guys. So today, let me see if I'm, if I'm working on this today. We shall see what we'll be working on. I had a plan to work on something today. Something crappy, something fun. Let me see what it's going to be. Find it, find it. Okay. Let's see what we're doing. And good morning, what crochet by Saz Maxine's in the building. Cheryl's in the building. Good morning, y'all. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for being here. I'm just getting ready for, um, did you get your gift? No, not yet, Miss Tina. I didn't get your gift. I didn't get your gift yet, Miss Tina. And Granny says, well, hello to everybody. She's in the background, y'all, okay? So we're going to do something today. I wanted to do overhead, but my I didn't set my table up today. So no worries. We'll just do what we sit here. And then I'll let you know what where you can do the same exact thing at, where you can get the same exact pattern from, tutorial from. Okay, I just gotta. It's, be, it's better when I'm at a better table, guys. This table is a little too high up, so it's kind of hard for me to do. Uh, let's see. Let me get it together. What I want to do here for today? We're about to have a ball, okay? I have a little fun, something fun to do. Let's see. Who is everybody sending in the chat? And Miss and Granny saying, "Hey, Joe, Tina, Cheryl, Handmaiden, Dina, and all." Granny saying, "Hey, to everybody." And handmaid says, yes, ma'am, I'm new to YouTube world, social media, so I'm starting at the bottom. I'm a stay-at-home mom and care for a family and community. Oh, really? That's amazing, handmaiden. Samantha K, welcome in. Samantha K, how you doing this morning? <coughs> Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Let me see, guys. So today we're going to have a little ball. We're going to make some earrings. All right, we're going to crochet some earrings. Definitely love crocheting earrings. I love to have these made up for gifts. I love to have them made up for orders. I wish I had some scissors so I can cut them. And I do have some scissors in my bag somewhere. I think I have a big scissors somewhere. There they go. So we're gonna make earrings, all right guys? Let's have some fun. Let's do earrings. I know we've done earrings before, but we've never done these earrings. And I'm doing this earring pattern courtesy of my sister, Kristen. Kristen HCC TV, all right? so. If you go to her channel, she will have the same exact tutorial to these earrings, all right? So we're going to have a ball with this pattern. 
All right, so what you're going to do, you guys, we're making earrings today. Well, I like to do different patterns. Camera, my nephew Cameron's in the middle. Welcome in. You're doing a chevron scarf from Jaden Stick. Oh, that sounds amazing. Is this a knitted scarf or is this crochet? I'm not sure. So, what I went ahead and did was grab these earrings. All right, now these earrings are like a little silver or silver inspired <laughs> earring. And these are the hoops. Now, you can get any size hoop. This is kind of like a little medium size, I would say. Not too small, not too big. Kind of like a little in-between, all right? This is kind of like the size I usually wear myself. Um, I know as I get older, I'll probably be wearing smaller size. <laughs> okay, it's, cro it's crochet. Welcome in, nephew. I would love to see that. What kind of yarn are you using with that? I want to do my first knit shawl one of these days. I got to get it done when I get done with my crochet scarf first. <laughs> when I finish my crochet scarf, I will work on the knit shawl. You're doing an amazing job with that knit. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much. And so right now, guys, this is what I have. This is the hoop that I'm using. And so you said going to get started on puppets and crochet. Angel lollipops. What? I have a goal to make 100 of each in 21. Plus about two weeks, I'm going to get started. Really? So you're doing like the mermaid tail that you slide on in? And you said lollipops. I mean, are you doing these for the children in the classroom? That sounds really fun. And you're working on scrunchies. Dina says you're also working on scrunchies. That's amazing. You got to make 100 of each. Wow, that's some work right there, Dean. I like it. I do like the fact that you're getting work done. Definitely sounds good that you're, you have a nice goal of what you have to do. And a lot of it, is everybody been writing down your goals of what you got to do for this year? What sweater are you making? Oh, I'm testing a pattern. I'm testing a pattern um, for Craft Med. So I'm not done with it yet, but this is just, I'm working on a back panel right now. And so um, I just have to start. Now that I have this, this is going to be a shoulder part right here. I do a few back rows, and then now I'm going back up to the shoulder. So it's still going to be a little time, you know. This is going to be like a shoulder. Here's my shoulder. Okay, this is my shoulder, <laughs> but it's not my shoulder. It's my daughter's shoulder. But I'm going to have this. I'm using some Heartland yarn. So, yeah, this is what I'm doing, and I'm going to work on this a little bit later on. But um, today we're going to be working on earrings. Hello, Sis Jeannie. Welcome in. Good morning. Hello. How you doing? Welcome in, Big Tim. Hello, Angler. Come on in the building. Thank you for coming in. Please hit the thumbs up. Welcome in. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Dina says, blankets for my one, for my seven-year-old niece. Oh, and her BFF. Okay, so who are those um, puppets and everything for? And thank you all for hitting. You guys always are welcome to come in here. Um, the morning stream is going to be 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. Eastern. And the nighttime stream is 11 p.m until about 2, 8, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern time. So you guys are welcome to come in, crab, laugh, and enjoy ourselves, okay? So how's everybody doing? I know since Jeannie, she just released a video right now. She's on that platinum squad. Shout out to everybody who's on the membership team. Thank you very much. We'll keep the channel going. Since Jeannie is on the platinum squad, and um, she's doing a giveaway. She's giving away six items, all right? Have you watched that newest giveaway yet? I watched a little bit of it last time before I hit the set. And uh, I'm going to go back and watch it again and make sure I comment and things of that sort. Because she has some keywords in it. You got to go back and watch that video, right? She's giving away some goodies. I'm talking about. So you don't want to miss on that giveaway because, you know, it's it's really worth watching. And um, you got that thumbs up. Thank you all for the thumbs up. And thank you. See, Jeannie's dropping that link to our giveaway, guys. All right? All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to have some fun with this. We're going to use loopy loopy loops all right these are kind of earrings we're using today um you have seen me do videos where i've done red patterns i've not did i do my pattern on here i think i kind of might have did it on here i'm not sure i don't know if i did my angel pattern on here or not but i'm using some size 10 thread all right so get your crochet thread out you can use scrap thread you don't have to use brand new this happens to be brand new um but it doesn't have to be this is um this is actually acrylic thread what Never even noticed they had acrylic thread, guys. <laughs> I'm just everything being cotton. And I, it does have like a little bit of a fuzz compared to cotton. This is crazy. It is called Artiste. All right. I think I got it from like Hobby Lobby. Guys, I had no idea that they had acrylic thread. This is like blowing my mind right now because every time I get a, a crochet thread, it's always cotton. Have you ever had a, cro a cotton, a crochet um, acrylic thread? I never had knew this. They have 370 yards in it. And it's number five. Oh my god, that's number ten. Well, this is number five. <laughs> guys. I thought this is number ten. It definitely 
It's not too bad for number five though. It definitely feels like number ten though. But I guess I have to go with the with the pack what I, what this says on the package, right? So it's number five. It feels like a number ten, but I usually I use number ten, but no worries. Okay. So what you're gonna be doing is crocheting around this. That's what you're gonna do. The first step is crocheting around your hoop. Okay. Good morning, Grand Dude. Pretty good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Left you two guns in the building. Thank you so much for being here. How are you doing this morning? And using Red Heart Super Saver in colors, red and black. So I'm actually all stick. I need, yeah, I need to get some red and black yarn. Um, I'm hoping to maybe be able to go to Joanne's and get some, um, what's the yarn called, guys? Some, um, uh, it is called Big Twist. I want to see if they have any. Good morning, Chrissy Creations. Welcome in, sis. Blessings to you as well. G how are you feeling today? How are you and the family doing? Definitely been praying. I did a pair of earrings with normal worsted weight acrylic rather than using. Oh, really? Work? Really? Oh, it is interesting. I've done that too. I've just played around with it. It was interesting for me as well. <laughs> so what you're going to do is just going to be single crocheting all the way around this, okay? And I'm going to be linking this pattern all. I'm going to link this pattern um, in the, like, I'll put it in, I'll like link it somewhere. I'll probably put it in the description box if you guys want to do this. And it's for my awesome sister, Kristen. She makes beautiful patterns. I'm so sorry. I wish I could have it overhead, guys, but I'm in a bad table. This is I need to get a, um, like a four-footer so I can be like a work table, like a nice crab table. I'm going to eventually get one. I started using this table, but it's too high up, and it even hurts my arms to, when I use a computer on it. So I need something just a little bit more, more level to me or... Get a chair to sit up to it. One or two. Kuzbergs. Welcome in, Kuzbergs. How you been? How have you been? It's been so long. The white crochet, she's making a baby blanket. She's making a baby blanket and beanies right before Thanksgiving. Oh, she was making beanies. Okay. Well, welcome in, Angler. What kind of stuff is your white crochet, you said? She's making beanies. Oh, that sounds amazing. Is, where, is your wife at work right now? And um, do you have a channel as well, Angler? And thank you for showing how to make the earrings. I was been wondering, yeah. So I'm gonna actually give you a link to the video because I usually like to do overhead. Brenda, you know me, I like to do an overhead so you guys can see my hands, but this table is just horrible. So I need to really, if I was in my um craft room right now, I could have it a better angle. Um, but it's really cold down there, <laughs> really cold in the basement. So this is what I have, guys. So far, I'm just crocheting around it. All you have to do is crochet around. That's the first step to your loop, all right? First step to your loop is just crocheting it around, making sure you fill it up, okay? Not too overfilled where it's just tight, but it's just nicely covered. You want to have that ring covered up. That's all you want to do. That's the first step, okay? And then you're on from there. You can, like, play around whatever. Teaching class on Zoom, but now listening. Sorry for not chatting. Teacher Griswold is teaching. Y'all, oh, Teacher Griswold. Teacher Griswold is that. Um, Griswold family vacay. He's already getting his teacher on with the children, changing lives. I like that Griswold. Thank you for that. And um, he's not chatting very much because he has to work, bro. But he just wanted to come and support, and we appreciate that. We got 22 in the building. If you guys can please hit the thumbs up, thank you so so much. We are working on some earrings on the beautiful Kristen HTC TV. This video has went viral, guys. Let's keep it going viral by watching it a million gazillion times. All right. Shout out to my sister Kristen for this video. I'm going to tell you how many views she got on this video. She has 13,000 views on this particular video. All right. I'm going to put a link in the um, in the description box. So that way you guys can do the same exact one. Hello, Nancy. You knitting? You just learned to knit? Nancy, it's addicting, right? It's addicting. I know. Nancy, I just learned to knit like last week as well. And guess what happened? I'm in love. I'm working on a scarf. Did you see my scarf, Nancy, that I'm doing? You won't, be, you won't be to see the best of it because I'm on a green screen right now. And it's green. And I just lost a couple stitches. Hold on, guys. I just lost a couple stitches trying to grab it. Hold on. All right. Almost got it, guys. I'm glad I did grab it, though, because... I really don't want to lose my. I don't want to lose my stitches. Mm. 
Okay, I really don't want to lose my stitches, guys. All right, so this is what mine looks like. Rayleigh's in the building, too. Uncle Blaine's in the building. We got Teacher Griswold, Uncle Blaine. Hello, good morning, y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Welcome to Craft Hour. You can't really see the green part, guys, but this is so far what I got. And it just seems like every so often I'll pick it up, and I'll just throw do a row or two, and it's been getting longer and longer. I'm going to probably, I mean, it's like a sheepish wool yarn. You want me to see that either because it's... <laughs> It's see-through, but I have like a lot of this, and I gave a lot of this away, and I still have a lot. So I figured, let me go ahead. It has some wool in there. I know a lot of people don't are allergic, so that's really hard, heartbreaking. But it's going to be like a nice little scarf. Ooh, a cow! Look at that, y'all. Oh God, this is going to be a nice little cow. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just doing a basic garter stitch. I'm not really going crazy because I'm just not ready yet. But what about you? What about you, Nancy? Are you going crazy? What you showed one of your videos in your hunting video on your hunting? Oh, angler. Okay, I gotta watch your hunting video. And um, since Jenny's showing some love to teacher Griswold is saying thank you for just being who you are and teaching and helping the children. And um, since Jenny said, Where to go, Nancy? Oh my goodness, we're trying to find a time to practice more on your knitting. Really, that's amazing. Thank you, Miss Tina, for being in the room. We appreciate you. What size needles are you starting to learn with? Um, well, this is a I started learning with like a Brenda, I was the, the yarn I did before when I did my dishcloth. I was using a like a six. I was using a six, which I don't even know what size a six is because I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how to even know my yarn, my knitting needles. But this one is a 10 right here. So I think this 10 actually will be like a six millimeter. I feel like it's like I'm trying to learn. I think this is going to be a six millimeter. So this one I'm doing for this scarf. But the other one was like a size six. You like bamboo needles? Yeah, I have a, I have a couple um, bamboo needles, but nothing really like that. I'm going to eventually start getting some sets. I was over at Cindy Freezer Bees, and she has some different knitting needles. And so I'm going to try to get me some as well. I do have some circulars, guys. So I'm going to be getting some, you know, just different ones, seeing which ones I like. I don't know if I ever tried the bamboo, but I'm going to try them out and see. I, it doesn't really matter to me um, so far. Because I'm not, you know, an expert knitter yet. I know once I get like I'm doing with crochet, I'm going to have a certain needle that's going to be like my favorite. Welcome in, Helen J. How you doing? Thank you so much for being here. And I see. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And then I have to tell you every single day, night, or whenever you are on, you are just beautiful. What? <laughs> If every neckline of your poncho just accentuates your <laughs> and look, even look at my, and I'm wearing always wear these ponchos sli slightly off every time. I don't know. Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> Thank you for that. That made me feel really, really good. I appreciate that. You are so sweet. Thank you for your love and support. Oh, you bought several. Look at Nancy. Nancy said, I'm about to knit. I'm, a, I'm buying every type. Okay, we're going to figure out which one I like. I like it, Nancy. Yeah, I haven't really done that yet because I just, I don't know. I just really haven't done it yet. I, that's a good idea to do that. I just haven't did it yet. I don't. Th I don't think I'm like in a diehard stage. Like I'm just kind of like playing with it, having some fun. If it if it happens, it happens. You know. If it's good, it's good. If I get tired of it, I get tired of it. But I will. I want to get some. Um, I want to have every size. I do want to have every size if I can. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh, you got the continental? Yes, I've been doing the continental style as well. Going to head out for a bit. Okay, go ahead. Head out, Rayleigh. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hope you guys grab Rayleigh Creative Travel Up. That's an awesome. Blaine in the building. He's a really awesome, awesome man of God and very awesome channel. You're going to love him. So now that I have this just like so, I want to point my stitches inward. All right? So we're going to be crocheting in the inside of this. It makes it a lot easier. All right? So you're just going to chain let me tell me i need a chain first guys all right um i'm gonna be chain three or something Skip. Right, turn three. Doing three together. Right. 
Ryan. Oh my goodness. My husband just gave me a super chat. Thank you, babe, for the super chat. Said, lady, you just too fine. Thank you for all you. Thank you, honey, for the super chat. And I just started this morning and you're making a scarf. Well, you just started over this morning. Okay, did you? What kind of stitch are you using with that, Nancy? Are you doing garter stitch or are you just doing whatever you want? And Sis Jean said, all right now, Joe, we all know she belongs to God and you. Hello. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all are so crazy. You guys have some patience to do that. Oh my god, yes, we do have some patience. You're right. It does take some patience, y'all. It really does. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Now that I have it, you space them out real nicely, okay? Go ahead and get them spaced out so make sure they're not overlapping. You don't want the overlap. You want them to be nice and flat and even, okay? And you want your um earrings to be pretty covered, pretty well covered. Now you're gonna go ahead and chain three and you're going to turn, okay? So I got to make sure my stuff is going in where I can turn it. My stitches are in. But I'm going to link the video to, to exactly what to do here. So you don't have to worry about like, oh, well, you know, I can't do this. It won't come out right. I'll have a video right link to the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain the read. Do I got three or four here? And then I got four. And let's see. I have patience, but only to sit all day and still be happy if I don't catch any fish. Oh my goodness. Well, that's good that you can catch fish. What kind of fish do you usually catch down there or where you are? I'm not sure if you're down there or not. But do you usually catch what's your favorite kind of fish to catch? Or do you just do like for sport and try to and toss them back in? You'll try a new one next. Okay. And what did you say? You say you'll try a new one. Nancy. I want to see what Nancy, what kind of stitch you use, Nancy. I'm just doing garter stitch. I'm not doing anything um professional yet. Because I gotta count, and I'm not ready to count yet. I'm, you know, because I'm gonna be, you know, so hard to do counting and do this and do that. So guys, you're gonna just crochet in the next stitch. So you're gonna um, chain your three, crochet in the next, okay? And then let me make sure I'm doing this right. And then you're going to how many do you gotta chain? Is it five? I think you gotta chain five. And then that one next to okay. So now you're going to chain after you did it, you're gonna do two single two double crochets in the next chain your five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to skip three, all right. And then you're gonna do two doubles in the next two. So skip three, one, two, three, and do a double in the next two, all right. That's all you got to do all the way around. Pretty simple, guys, okay? Very, very simple. Very easy. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Okay? You're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip three. And one double in the next two. All the way around. All right? This pattern is super easy and very, very cute. Very cute. That's why she got so many views on this video, y'all. One, two, three, four, and five. And skip three. One, two, three. And double crochet in your next two stitches, okay? So this is what's going to start looking like like this. It's going to start looking like this. Okay? What? Handmaiden said, God bless your craft and work. Whoa, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Two super chats this morning. Wow, you guys are amazing. Thank you, honey, and thank you, handmaiden. Oh my goodness, can we get some love to handmaiden? Uh, maybe our link drop. Can we get Joe Sporting drop as well? Or both everybody can join. My husband actually has a channel and he's been working hard to get monetized, guys. So we'll be able to have a monetization party soon for him. Um, a lot of hard work. He's gonna be doing ministry, he's gonna be doing sports interviews, he's gonna be doing it all, y'all. And even game nights. Um, he's been having game nights lately. A lot of people have been enjoying them. So he makes keep those going. I'm not exactly sure, but they have been a big hit over here. So shout out to everybody who's been watching playlists, running him all night long, and showing love, guys. You guys are the best. And let's get to know Handmaiden. Handmaiden, I definitely will be coming to visit you and have some fun with you. Skip chain five, four, three, two, one. Look at it. <laughs> big knot. Oh my like big knot for you. <laughs> Cameras has squeaked a cup of deliciousness, but oh, you got it. I got my coffee too. I'm making some earrings. Good morning, Cindy B. We love you. How you doing? Good morning to you. I'm just making some earrings. I would love to have it overhead because you know I love that overhead look. But this morning, guys, it just was not going to work because 
I'm um in a different I'm on a different table, y'all. But it's gonna be okay. So we're just gonna I'm gonna show you our video exactly where to get this from. So you don't gotta worry about anything. You're not gonna work you're not gonna have to um worry about not having it. Let me see. One, two, three. And this is gonna be this is a really simple pattern, guys. Very simple. Okay. What's going on like better? Let's see. Let me see what everybody we got 26 in chat. Y'all hit the thumbs up. Come on in. Lana's in the building. Just frog welcome me and Lana. At Just Frog It, Lana says she like that background. Thank you, Lana. Appreciate you for liking that background. So we're just going all the way around, guys, and this is what it's going to start looking like. I wish you could see a little bit better. This lighting, I don't know, I don't like that. Maybe it's just color and the lighting. But it's going to start building up. You're still you're building up some goodies in the inside of there, right? And you're just going to keep on going around. Keep on going. And yes, everybody show some love to Lana. Just frog if you don't have her. Please grab her up. One, two, and three, four, five. And skip your three and go into the next. All right. All the way around. Double crochet in the next two. So skip three. Double crochet in your next two. Okay. All the way around. All right. So that's all you got to do. You just keep doing that. Depending on what size earring you're using, you can still do the same exact thing. Um, every earring, you know, you can get different sizes. Some, You know, depending on who you're selling it to. Or making it for you know every age likes different size earrings guys all right so you know when you're in the younger crowds they might like those hoops that you can hula hoop in i'm gonna be honest they might like the hoops when you can hula hoop in i never really got into them too big when i was young um but i did like them a little bigger i did you know i don't mind a little bigger just for fun even if i don't wear them the whole day you know you ever do macrame like plant hanger stuff yes what makes them i want to do some macrame i just gotta figure out what is the um what is a macrame cord? That's what I'm gonna do for a morning string. One, two, three, four, five. And I was I was looking for it like at Joanne's and stuff. Anybody can help me with that? Because I want to make some, but I'm like, I can I get it from Joanne's? I have no idea what I'm looking for. I have, I go there when I go to Joanne's. I'm always looking for, it, but I'm I'm like, should I just grab a random random cord? I have no idea. Random ropes? I don't know. <laughs> but yes, I want to do it. Um, I've done a little bit of it, but I I can't remember what I was using. I know I probably can get from Amazon or something like that, but sometimes I forget, and then I want to wait for the shipping and all that stuff, so I just want to go grab it real quick at, you know, like a craft store from in there, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to be grabbing, guys. It's been so long, and I definitely want to do it. I definitely want to do it, y'all. Let's see. It looks like a magazine cover. I de the background, <laughs> and let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and let's see. I cannot wait to see your knitting. Um, Nancy, you going live today? I would love to see some knitting you got going on over there. You going live after me, Nancy? Look, like I said, that Nancy, I just threw you out there. <laughs> I want to see Nancy's knitting, Nancy. <laughs> Nancy got me excited. What kind? What kind of yarn are you using to knit, Nancy? All right, so I got two, and I got. I'm changing my changing my five, three, four, five, and this is a simple pattern. That's why I like earrings, guys. You can make these babies up as gifts. You can make them for yourself. Styling with every outfit, y'all. These are really, really fun to make. Especially when it's a free tutorial. You know what I'm trying to say? Helen, what are you working on over there? Jute or hemp? Ding. I've seen some hemp. Hemp. <laughs> Wendy, I've seen some hemp, but I was like, is it hemp? Because it looks like a little bit of fuzz. I don't know. Okay, so let me write down jute or hemp. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy. Okay, why would I say Wendy says jute or hemp? Okay. Um, macrame, get some jute or hemp. Macrame, get jute or hemp. Have I seen the jute? I'm not sure if I've seen jute. Use number four, candy pop cake. Do I have any? I've never seen candy pop. Let me write that down too. Candy pop cake. What is that? What kind of stuff is this? It's too many yarns. It's way too many yarns in this world. I have no idea. I will never catch up. <laughs> Okay, you gotta go. You say yes, ma'am. Awesome. Gotta go show love, some love. Okay, go show some love. You it's been plenty of people in your handmaid. We're gonna drop your link all day, and um, also Joe Sports. And uh, I'm gonna show you some love in my late night stream as well. Um, and you're welcome to always get people in here. They'll get you back. 
Good morning, Kenny. Kenny said, good morning. I just woke up. Sorry, Kenny. He just woke up. <laughs> good morning, Kenny. Shout out to Kenny, a.k.a. Four Men, Kenneth Oaks. He's super amazing, guys. We're going to have him grab him up. Oh, my goodness. We got such a great family here. I'm so happy doing this craft hour, guys. It is always a good time here, y'all. We're going to see. We might be able to get both of these spirit. We might be able to get the spirit earrings done today, y'all. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And that's good. I got to give me some stamps, guys. I'm missing stamps. I send out tons of Christmas cards, guys, and now I have no stamps. <laughs> so I got to hopefully get some stamps today because I want to, um, I need a bit of like send stuff out on the fly. And I don't have any stamps. Three, four, five. I, I want to have, I like want to have stamps with me all the time. And then I don't want to print them out because I ain't have that much ink. You know? So I'm just going to crochet in the last two. All right? So I've got all the way around and I'm left with two left, two. And I'm just going to double crochet in the last two. But I just got myself twisted up. After all that hard work, I did good. Anytime that, oh, thank you, Wendy. You are so amazing. Thank you. I, I'm really excited because I really want to do some of that. Um, I want to do some macrame. That was something I wanted to do from the beginning. Um, but I just did not know what it was called to get. All right. So if you guys, that's what I always say. If you guys have ideas of what you want to do, we can do it. Let's do it. Okay. So I'm going all the way around. And Helen, Helen, what you work? Did you say you was working on Helen? Gigi, are you got some on your hook over there? Beautiful niece, Gigi, guys, girl creation. She's dropping those links in the chat. Please grab her up, visit her channel. Okay, show her some love over there, right? Show her some love. You will love her channel, okay? Oh, she goes live before me in the morning, y'all. I gotta make sure I wake up. I I, I went to sleep late today. I got to make sure I wake up for her in the morning so I can come and have a ball. We go over to her channel. She comes to me, and we just keep it going. We have a whole ball of things. All right? Teamwork make the dream work. Okay? So now that I have this, it's going to look a little a little crazy. But it's not. Don't worry. It's not going to be that bad crazy. It's going to look like this. See how it looks, guys? It's kind of bunched up a little bit in here. See how they're kind of like bunched up and curved in? No worries. What we're going to do now is chain one and single crochet in each of these little loops. And we're going to have an earring. Watch. We're going to see how it turns. Oh, you still working on crochet bag? Oh, I bet it's going to be a nice bag. So you're going to make like a, it's going to be pretty like a nice size crochet. What is it? Project bag. You're going to be able to put your goodies in there as you go, you know, on the go. Or if you're at home and you don't want to lose it and just have it rolling around the floor. Like me. I like that, G. It's going to be gorgeous. That's going to be gorgeous. I can't wait to see that. And so now we just had to chain one, and then we're going to turn again. Okay? So I'm going to probably just have my stuff turned outward so I can get back to that, and then we're going to have this baby done. I'm super excited, guys. So excited to finish this up. You might be able to get a second one done. This pattern is super simple. I love super. I'm not, I don't know about you guys, but I love anything simple. If you tell me the pattern is called simple, I'm grabbing it. I am. I'm definitely grabbing that name. It's just going to get me. Sometimes I've gotten got, and the name was not true. Okay? They said simple, and they were harder than I could ever imagine. So I'm just going around each of these loops, and I'm single crocheting. That's all I'm doing. One thing that's good to have with this is like a, what I want to say, guys, you want to have like a super glues. All right? Get you some super glue or crazy glue. Something with like a little small nozzle, a little small, you know, precise tip because you don't want to get something or you can get like a brush tip. You can get a brush tip, too, but something where you can control that um, glue. You don't want it to be like where it's just pouring out. <laughs> you don't want to have that issue. So I'm just going around single crocheting, guys. Look, I'm single crocheting in each of those loops, guys. Every loop that I created, I'm single crocheting in them. I'm just, that's all I'm doing. I'm not doing any chaining. I'm just going right in with a single crochet across each of those loops. That's all I'm doing. We're gonna spread it out, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. I am gonna admit, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be um, honest. I do not like the acrylic um, compared to the cotton yarn. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I love my family, and I'm gonna admit, when it comes to this crochet thread, I will pick cotton crochet thread any day. I did not realize this was acrylic. I love acrylics, but when it comes to this, it gives like a little fuzz look, and I don't like the fuzz. I need cotton because cotton will not give me a little fuzzy, you know. But I didn't know. I didn't even realize I was grabbing. I just thought it was a pretty color. And I'm like, oh, this is good for earrings. And I grabbed it. I think I got it from Hollywood Lobby. It was on a 30% off, you know. 
They had 30% off their dread, so I just grabbed it. But again, it's pretty, but I just didn't know that it was acrylic. And I didn't know it was a size 5. So I was grabbing a size 10. Just went off of color and uh, <laughs> look, just look, I eyeballed it, all right? This would have been a good time to have my glasses. Okay, that would have been a really, really good time to have those. All right, so now that I have that, I just single crochet all around, okay? That's all I did. So now I'm just going to stretch that baby out. All you got to do now, after you get that done, you're just going to stretch it all the way out, getting it even, all right? Like I said, just stretch it all the way out, making sure. One thing I definitely could have did, though, I could have really probably crocheted a few more stitches in there to make sure my loop is fully covered. Make sure your loop is fully covered, guys, without making it overlap, of course. I probably should have did that before, but I was really in a rush to show you this. I was that, I was that much. I, of course, I can frog this and do it all over again. Okay, but this is what it's going to look like. All right, and I think that's absolutely adorable. Like I said, you can do this in all colors. All colors, okay? Let me snip that baby, stick it in my ear, and let's show what it looks like. All right, so I just made myself a pair of earrings. Well, actually, I made myself one earring. And then uh, I'm going to make another, the other one while we're sitting here. Okay, and these babies will turn heads because my sis Kristen's channel is actually called, and her her actual her actual business is called Kristen HTC, and the HTC stands for Head Turning Crochet. So when she's working and making things, she's turning heads. So I've been seeing her lately doing so much awesome work, making cardigans, making earrings, doing a lot of things. So when people see it, they actually turn heads. When I wear these earrings in this pattern, I put them on, and I'm going somewhere. You guys will people are like, okay. Can I get those? Those are cute. These will sell out. So that's why people go to her pattern. 13,000 views on this pattern. People are going to this because it's free. You don't have to pay for it. You can go and get it. And you're going to make these babies up for Christmas gifts. Make them up for yourself. Sell those babies like hotcakes. Get your loops. Get your hoops. Get these babies and sell these babies. They're going for 10 to 15 to 20 bucks. All right? Depending on what city and how much you're using, these babies do not sell these less than $10. Okay? I'm going to be honest. Don't do it. Um, but that's how they work. All right. So I'm going to stick this baby in. I did not weave in my end because it's just something for me. It's just something fun I made for myself. You can get loops from Etsy. You can get loops from your hair stores. If you guys have any hair stores in your area, beauty supply, I should call it beauty supply. I say, I say hair stores. I've, gr I've grown to call them hair stores because <laughs> I get hair from them. <laughs> All right. So I don't have my loop. I don't have my um, earrings sewn in my loops. Uh, what's it called? My, I don't have my uh, whatever sewn in my ends but this is what it looks like guys i'm just twisting it um but so you can see it but it looks really gorgeous like i said guys these babies are gorgeous this is an easy simple pattern and it's free you know there are some that out there out there that you can pay for but this baby's free i'm trying to be about resources this in this season guys okay we can make these babies and like i said if you don't like the size you can get different sizes they have all you know you can get different hoops especially if you go to beauty supply stores they have different sizes and when i got these they were all the same size my husband um ended up one store because if there's days where I don't want to get out, he will get out and literally go and just pick up whatever. Like he he loves to do that. That's one of his favorite things to do. He loves to surprise me with all anything I'm working on. So he wouldn't grab these up from a hair supply store, which is a really good way way to get to bang for your buck. I will admit it, get them and get them good because these you get six pair, I believe. One, two, three, four, or five is it five pair? Might be five or two, four. Six, eight, yeah. So you get five pair. All right, five pair, guys. Now this is a really good deal. So, like I said, guys, make these babies up for yourself. Make them up for anybody. You get your colors, guys. If I had, I have a black pair I made just like this with my poncho, just like it. I use yarn, and you can use any kind of yarns or crafts. Okay. Yes, you can make a doily out of what's left. Yes, the beautiful Miss Tina at Crafts by the Rose is the doily queen. I don't know if anybody else is doily queen. I'm not. She's the only one I've seen doing doilies and just knocking those babies out like Christmas gifts. Beautiful work. She's inspired me to do a doily. She said, you can do it. And I said, okay. So I do have a book that's going to have a doily that has doilies in it. So I'm going to do one and I'm going to show her some love. I want to send it to Messina. I want Messina to get my first doily ever to shout her out and give her some love. Because she sent me doilies. And um, I definitely want to send her one because I just want her to know, like, you inspired me to do this. I've always tried to do doilies when I was younger and it just did not work out. <laughs> it did not work out. I don't know if I should have been using size 10. Should I use maybe a little thicker thread? But those doilies were like, it was just like no. <laughs> so one yarn is really good for doing is this uh, this beautiful gold. It is called bejeweled sequin. This is absolutely heavenly. 
Um, it's by Yarn B. I wish you guys would say, there we go. There we go. A little bit better. It is called the Jewel Sequin. And by Yarn B, you get it from Hobby Lobby. This is really gorgeous. You can get it for 30%. I like to get 30% off like $3.99. Um, but usually I think it is. What is it, guys? $4.99. So you get it 30% off whatever 30% off $4.99 is. You know, I'm not a math person. My husband is. Um, but you can do this with any of your yarn. So you can use a crochet ten, size 10 thread and use this with it. So if you have a black, you can make black and gold. Or you this make this takes it to another level. You see, look at my poncho. I'm using this in my poncho. It's not gold. It's silver. And look at the sequin. Be you this makes I this is mainstay yarn I use because I was just doing something quick. All right, we had a church event and I didn't have any black but mainstay. All right, let me see if I can get it even so <coughs> it look good on my camera. I have no idea why I can't do it. This one. <laughs> but we had a church event, guys, and we were like, I didn't we didn't have anything. I didn't have anything to wear. Joe, he has tons of stuff to wear. Me, I have I mm, he I still have a lot of stuff to wear, but I like to make a lot of handmade blouses. And I did not have anything like sprucey at the time for it in, the, in black. I didn't. Um, so I was like, babe, why don't you make me up something? I'm like, I don't know what to make. He's like, babe, use that silver that you got. I'm like, what, what am I using? He's like, babe, use it with the black, make it pop. I'm like, no. And I put those two together and it came out heavenly. So like I said, pair this. You can pair it up with worsted weight. You can pair it up with the threads. This bejeweled silvers, golds. And I'm not sure. I know online they have different colors. They got purples. They have green. I mean, you can load up on this. This is really good. You get, let me see how many yards you get, guys, because it can run out a little fast, all right? Um, you get 328 yards, okay? So it's not too bad. Um, it doesn't cover my whole poncho. It kind of goes halfway, not halfway down, about three-fourths down, and I just left it, guys. I asked Joe, I said, babe, do you think I should just leave it or keep it? He's like, just leave it. <laughs> just save your other thread for some of the other project. I said, sounds good to me. Thank you so much, Wendy. Or coasters, yes, or coasters. Thank you, thank you for it, man. Sis Jeans and Dana, that is so beautiful. I have plenty of that yarn now off the hair store. There you go. Yes, 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 yes. Sis Jeannie, beautiful. Get those earrings in. Those are, like I said, great gifts for giveaways, too. People will love these for giveaways, even if you want to do some stocking stuffers or if you just want to like send them in the mail. You can send these babies in the mail. That's why I said I need to get stamps because you put these babies in the mail in an envelope, maybe one or two stamps, depending on where a person lives. Um, I'll probably do like two stamps just to be so safe. Throw two stamps on that baby and send those babies with a sweet little note. Pop. That's what's going to be happening. I'm going to be having these babies up. I'm going to be making them up. We're going to be doing giveaways. I'm going to be sending them out as we talk right here. And I'll have a stamp. I don't have to worry about printing anything out. I'll put your names on it. And if you win the giveaway while we're sitting here chatting, playing games, I'll have that baby right in the envelope with your name on it. Um, I'm going to have a whole bunch of them made up. Have them right here in the envelope. Put your name on there, pile, and stick it right there in the mailbox. And, it, and it'll go right the same exact day. So that's my goal. I just had to get some stamps. So I'm hoping and praying today my mom may be able to go grab me some stamps today so I can have that. Yes, order some hoops. Yes, handmade it. Order some hoops. Like I said, Etsy has them. Um, and you can get some good deals. I know Party Boo Crochet sells them at her chat on her website, on her Etsy. Um, she even has a whole kit. If you guys are interested in buying a kit, she actually sells a pattern. Party Boo Crochet, the one who makes this cup right here, Yarn Glory Yarn. She sells a kit for like $20. Um, and you can get the pattern. You can get a hook. You can get the thread. You can get the hoops. I mean, she's got it all. If you guys want like a starter kit, Parlay Blue Crochet on Etsy. Get the whole starter kit. You don't have to worry about going around here, bouncing around there. Just get the whole kit, and then you can be happy. And then you can be supporting a small, sweet, amazing business, too. Brenton Farm Homestead, welcome in the building. How are you doing this morning? Thank you for being here. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. So, um, Cameron, my nephew Cameron, he's been really getting me um, onto this. And ha and handmaids that I so pretty. I've never used a hoop ring. I'm excited. Yes, you're gonna love it. Handmade, you're gonna love the hoop ring. I have earrings that have actually went viral called the uh, Calypso earring, and they don't require a hoop. They just require like a size ten thread. And those babies have went kind of semi-viral for me. Not big as my sis, but. They're a little bit um, viral. They really a lot of people love them. A lot of people made those up, and I have a new pattern called the Angel Garden Angel Earring. Where I will be um, releasing those on my Ravelry. Um, they are um, Garden Angel. What are they called? They're like wings. So I have that pattern out there on my Ravelry. I know some people do not like Ravelry guys, and um, I didn't pick Ravelry because um, 
you know, for any reason. I just was on Ravelry. I like the pricing. I like that they don't charge me all these crazy fees. You know, I can sell tons of patterns and they'll charge me two bucks out of the deal. You know, I don't have to worry about them like this fee out this fee. Um, you know, it's not, there's not a lot of fees and I don't like fees. <laughs> um, but I will be doing some stuff on Etsy because I know some people like Etsy. I want my patterns on both Etsy and Ravelry so you guys can go check out both of my, you know, my, my goodies. And I'm going to have all my patterns here. I'm going to be doing some pattern uh, tomorrow. I hope you guys come in every Wednesday. I like to do pattern every, every week. You guys push me to write patterns. So I do have a new pattern. So I had a scarf set that's coming out. Um, I have to get pictures for my daughter. I'm going to see if I can get my daughter to get pictures done today uh, for me, get herself jazzed up and glammed up, get some pictures out in a pretty little snow. It's not too gloomy today. And um, I do have a pattern. It's going to be a cow. Tomorrow, I'm going to be releasing that every Wednesday. If you guys come back on Wednesdays, I like to do pattern release day, all right? So that way, you guys here um, are the first to get my pattern, all right? So please come in. I'm going to be doing pattern um, pattern uh, like promotions where you can buy one, get one free. I have like bundle sets. I'm really working on getting like a big amount of patterns in my Ravelry so I can just do a whole bundle set for you guys. If you guys want to like buy, you know, maybe 10 for 10. You know, something like that. I don't want to be over uh, going crazy with it. But the reason why I like to have those that pattern money for shipping so that way I can have ways to get stuff out more. I don't have to worry about waiting for shipping, you know? OGs, and everybody, welcome in. OG, we love you, OG. Blessings to you. Guys, OG is amazing. Him and his beautiful wife. Oh, my goodness. Charlotte, shout out to OG and Charlotte in the chat. We love y'all. Effie Sheldon, good morning. How you doing, Effie? Come on in, y'all. We just got done working on one of these crochet earrings, having a little fun, using the pattern for my beautiful sis. Um, Kristen HTC. She is so beautiful inside and out. This woman is also studying to be a nutritionist. So she's going to be helping us get our bodies fit, eating proper foods and, you know, knowing what's actually what we're eating. A lot of times we eat some things because it feels good, tastes good, looks good, all those good things. But at the end of the day, sometimes we end up feeling, he um, what is it called? Feeling um, kind of like heavy, bloated, gassy. I mean, we can feel a lot of different things when you eat certain dishes. I don't know if y'all ever felt like that. We don't have to get into it. But um, I definitely understand what it's like to feel different feelings. Right now, I'm not eating meat, and I definitely love it. Um, I'm doing it to help lose weight, but I'm actually feeling I'm feeling so light, and I'm loving it. Um, I'm down. I'm not sure how many pounds I'm down, um, but I went from 311 to 287. So that's where I'm at right now, 287, guys. Even after the holiday, I was like, what? After the peach cobblers and the pecan pies and the caramel cakes, still losing. <laughs> I'm super excited about that. So, yeah, um, 311 was the biggest I've ever been. And when I saw that number on the scale, I was so ashamed. And it was even worse because my husband was right there to hear. And I was I didn't want him to hear it because we actually have a scale that talks. And I was like, <laughs> we actually have a scale that talks. I have no idea who this is calling. This is somebody I have my own number. Um, but, yes, um, so, yeah, I decided to stop eating meat in September and I haven't been eating it ever since and it's been working really good for me um again you don't have to do that to lose weight but that's just something I chose to do but yeah and Auntie Dana you're big bone and curvy yeah big bone there we go big bone and curvy <laughs> oh my goodness and who's getting out of here Marie's getting out of here oh my God, that was okay yeah so I put my Ravelry link in the chat I'm gonna be throwing in my sister's um the starter kit yes you wanna get a starter kit do you want to get that? Oh, so gorgeous. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, Britain, how you doing? Everybody in the building, thank you. And let me see. I'm about to order some hoops like that. Okay, I read that part. Okay, I want to make sure I don't miss anybody's comments. Um, But, yes, guys, so today I'm going to be releasing my giveaway video, $25. I know it's not expensive that much, but, hey, a little bit, hey, a little bit goes a long way. If you guys want to enter my $25 giveaway, it is over at my channel. And it is called The Grinch Stole 2020. Hashtag The Grinch Stole 2020. I'm going to put everybody's name into the um, into the random comment picker. And so you are you have to put in what's your favorite Christmas movie or your favorite movie. So I'm going to be putting in the word favorite. And if everybody who typed the word favorite, some people might not. I hope everybody watched it, though, because I, I think everybody, hopefully you did. <laughs> but I'm going to put the word favorite in. And if everybody who's used the word favorite, do all those different little things and then there goes the name and you guys will get a e-gift card sent to your email address so all you gotta do is when i say your name just send me your email my email will be in the description box so shoot me an email so i can just go ahead and purchase that e-gift card and send it to you all right so that's how we're gonna do that 
I'm also going to be doing my front hook Friday on a Tuesday. But I got to get it out to you guys. I'm, I'm late on my videos, but I'm, I usually, when I used to get late on my videos, I wouldn't even do them. I would just be like, oh, well, it's over now. But now I just can't, I have to get it out no matter if it's late or not, because I'm getting overwhelming responses on my front hook Friday videos. Um, for the last couple of weeks, I've been getting over 1K views. And this one's going to be even better because I'm bringing back a vital um, piece of the Triple C and Joe show, Creatively Creative Crochet. So you guys are going to love it. You see, I make some earrings. Um, handmaids, out, they're on my shop. No hoops, though. I'm excited about hoops. Okay, yeah. Try these out. You're going to love them. Handmade, you're going to love them. When you said just pick up the fish hooks and jump rings. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Wendy, yes. Earrings are amazing to make up. And get you some starch. You don't have to have starch for these. They do sit up pretty well, but you can if you want to starch a little bit. I like to get, um, it's called, it is called, um, what is it called, guys? It is called, I can't remember what my starch is called, my earring starch is called, um, I can't remember what it's called, guys. I cannot think right now. But it is for start, you start, you start your items, it's quick, stiff and quick. There you go. It's called stiff and quick, and you spray your earrings, and you block them, so you put it like on a rubber mat, kind of like those little puzzle pieces that we used to let the kids play with. I stole my youngest son's because he's too old for them. So I use those and I put them on my table and I spray my item on front and back sides and I pin them down real nice. I even have it in my tutorial if anybody wants to see up close how I do it. Um, so I put them, I spray them real nice on both sides and I pin them down and I let them sit overnight. If I'm in a rush, I just blow dry them with my blow dryer and then I just package them up and all that. Cousin Ruby, baby, yes, I said to use the metal braces. Oh, for, ooh. Yes, I, yes, some people do that. You use a metal brace, you know, like little bangles. You can get a pack of those bangles as well. What is the diet you are on? I'm not on a diet, man. I'm not on a diet. I'm just changing my lifestyle. Yeah, I'm just not eating meat, but I'm not on a diet at all. And yarn nuts in the building. Hey, happy new year. Yarn nut G is in the building. And just in case I get sidetracked while doing errands, have a great day. Okay, have a great day. All right, yeah, I'm not on a diet. I'm just doing, just eating no meat. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to, you know, get healthy. That's all I'm doing. And I did it before when me and my husband was trying to get, when we and my husband were getting married, I cut out meat and we we're exercising and all that stuff. I haven't even exercised yet. So I got to exercise now. That's going to be a thing for the new year. Me and hubby are going to start exercising. But, um, yeah, that's all we're going to be doing. I'm just, cause I'm still eating regular food. I, I'm being realistic. Like, I don't want to just do a diet because diets are, to me are unrealistic. That means I have to start um, doing things I wouldn't do regularly. Buying different meals and these different little um, lean cuisines and you know drinking certain slim, slim fast. I don't want to do certain things that I won't do on a normal day to day basis. If I want to have a piece of cake, I don't want to feel bad about it. I can have a piece of cake today, you know. And then I know tomorrow I won't be sucking down cake. So tomorrow, tomorrow won't be a cake day, but today is going to be a cake day, maybe a milkshake day. But tomorrow it won't be that. Tomorrow might be salad. Tomorrow might be something like. So we're just basically doing something that's you know makes sense. Yeah, you can add the no hole earring attachments. The no hole earring attachments. I'm, I got a suit saying the no hole earring attachment. I know you have these. You'll have this to be a, a whole circle, which is a um, ring. And then you can add your, like your jump ring. Would you add your jump rings to them? And then your um, ear, earring wires. I've done that as well. I've done those as well, too, with the bracelets. But depending on size, depends on who, you know, who you're making them for. Some people like them bigger. That's what I was saying earlier. Some people like them a little bigger. Some people like them smaller. Depending on who you're making them for, because like you said, those braces make a really nice bang for your buck, too. I love bang for your bucks. I do. So, guys, I appreciate you all for being here. We got 26 in the building. Please hit a thumbs up if you haven't yet. We have reached our hour, craft hour, triple C. And I'm going to go film some videos and work on this sweater because I got to get this baby done. All right. And uh, I'm going to be going to work on some videos and I'm going to be pulling out this knitting because I love it. For non pierced ears. Oh, God, I got to check it out. Cousin. Look at my cousin. She always comes in and saves the day. That's my cousin. Ruby, baby. Hope you guys have her. Please subscribe to her channel. I got to go check it out. All right. I got to check out non pierced ears. Because we do have some people who don't have pierced ears. I love it. Because I have a lot of people like, oh, I want to make those, but I don't have pierced ears. Cousin. That's what I said, guys. Please come in and drop those gems. Wendy told me about getting that hemp and the jute. My cousin taught me about the no hole earrings. So that way I can get for the for the people that don't have pierced earrings. So uh till tomorrow, guys, or later on tonight. Remember, tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern at 2 a.m. I will be live with my husband. We'll be doing a triple C and Joe show. We'll be doing crafts, laughs, maybe a game or two. 
So until then, I hope to see you guys tonight or tomorrow. I love you guys and enjoy your day. Please go back and introduce, enter, what is it called? Enter my giveaway so that way you can win. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Good night. Or not good night. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. It's still the morning, y'all. <laughs> love y'all.